our favorite pickup this week, and I think it's everybody's, it's like the unanimous pickup this week, is Damian Williams, running back for the Chicago Bears. He's only rostered in about 10% of ESPN leagues. Uh, in week four, he had about 55 rushing yards, a couple of catches for another 15 yards, and he did score a touchdown, put up about 15 fantasy points in most leagues. Um, why is he? Why is Damian Williams relevant? Well, because David Montgomery had a really scary knee injury, uh, went down screaming, grabbing it, did not move it. Um, now the team believes that he, that David Montgomery did avoid a torn ACL, but further testing is necessary to figure out the extent of the injury injury. But I think at a minimum, you're talking multiple weeks, right? Yep. Yeah, no doubt. So multiple weeks, you got Justin Fields looking like he could potentially competently move an offense down the field a little bit. As long as Matt Nagy's not calling the plays. Yes, sir. Um, but with Damian Williams getting the starting reps for the next couple of weeks, granted, hopefully the thigh injury that he did have is minor and he plays and practices and and is the starter. But assuming health, what would you bid on Damian Williams? And what do you think about right. him? Let's let's talk about the pros, right? The first one is is that he's a starting running back on an NFL team for the next couple of weeks, right? So that immediately gives him some sort of value. The bad news is is that the last time the Bears uh, were on the road, they had 48 yards of total offense, and this next week they're on the road against the Raiders, whose defense actually looked pretty good tonight against the Chargers, at least in the first half before we started recording. So. Inherently, Damian Williams has value. If you think back to his Chiefs days after everybody got hurt and he was kind of like a two or three week fantasy stud there at the end of the year with Mahomes and and that offense. So we know that he can be explosive. Downside, he has a quad injury. They're saying it's just a bruise. He's probably fine. Also, other downside is his schedule the next couple of weeks. Like if David Montgomery was going to pick some weeks to not play, like it'd probably be this stretch, right? at the Raiders, home against Green Bay, at Tampa Bay, San Francisco, at Pittsburgh. That is a brutal five-week stretch until they have their bye, which we have talked about previously on on other pods that we've done. So, does he have value? Absolutely. Is it crazy? No, because of the schedule. And Matt Nagy said that if Dalton's starting, then he is the quarterback instead of Fields. Now, believe the lip service or not. You mean if Dalton is healthy, he's starting? Sorry, yes, I, I might have screwed that up. Um, so I don't think that you should bid more than 15% on Damian Williams because it sounds like Montgomery's coming back and it's a tough schedule. My assumption is, is that Montgomery will go on the IR and will not play for at least the next three weeks, um, which is at Vegas, Green Bay, at Tampa Bay. Um, Tampa Bay is one of the best rushing defenses in the NFL. Green Bay's been better than they were last year and the Ra- the Raiders are just middle right so um I I think this is a, a 15% play at most um if you're desperate running back maybe go a little bit more if you're 0 and 4 and, and need somebody um he is explosive and Bill Lazor likes to run the ball um keep in mind that so the Bears offense corner Bill Lazor is when uh once he started calling the plays last year that's when Montgomery exploded yes the schedule was easy at the end of the year but you saw one week of Bill Lazor this week and they ran the ball like 30 times. So it makes sense that Damian Williams is going to get 15 to 20 touches the next couple weeks, albeit just against some tough defenses. So 15%. Yeah. I mean, I think by and large, I do agree with you on the fab number. Uh, the one caveat to that is if you are looking at 0 4, like I am in our league, because I've been smacked around by injury. Uh, I would definitely spend more than 15% just because he is a starting running back on a team and I have like no healthy people right now. So if it was me, I would spend the fab. However, I personally don't have it because I blew it all on Elijah Mitchell who hasn't played in two weeks. So (laughs) there is that. Uh, But if you do have it, spend it, go get you some Damian Williams. I think he's going to be a great fill in for the next couple of weeks. And we also are going to start hitting buys. And he could be a great fill-in if you got some early bye weeks guys on your team. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. So the Bears yesterday in in Lazer's first game ran the ball 40 times for 188 yards. So they're they're going to run the ball. Um, and so Damian Williams has that that quad injury. Um, Khalil Herbert came in for the last couple plays after he was out. Yeah, um, he's maybe a provisional ad. Um, he's a zero percenter. Yeah, zero percent. Absolutely. Um, where just to have on your roster, just in case Damian Williams ends up not being able to play this week. Right. 